right now, Paul. When was the last time you saw this? 1996. We've had the sofa removed so you can't hide behind it to avoid it this time. Ouch. Did you ever meet Gordon Tipple? No, I didn't have a drink with him at all. <laughs> Tipple. So, I see what you did there. Did you? <laughs> and this is on radio. <laughs> no one out where it's real. <laughs> oh, by the way, I just have to point out, I had that round the wrong way. What? And, what, uh, what, the sonic screwdriver? Yeah, the sonic screwdriver. That's the TARDIS having a dribble. I mean, I know I remember doing a Doctor Who once where uh, we arrived, we couldn't find the location, but eventually we did find it, and when we got there, all the Doctor Who fans had been waiting for us for an hour. They knew where it was, but we couldn't find it. We never quite find out why the Master is a worm, do we? No. <laughs> you, you had a look of panic on your face then, Sylvester, like, I was actually going to ask you to explain Yes, that. explain the worm. <laughs> it's Grace who does for you. Yes, it, she really? does. I'm surprised the Doctor asks her to go with him in the end, since she murdered him. <laughs> she just got a, a new and better model. <laughs> I'm only seeing that because Paul's here. Keep talking, dude. <laughs> when they first came to you with the offer, did you think, oh, oh, that old programme, or did you think, oh, this might be an exciting thing to do? I thought it was a mistake. Why are they calling me? You know, why are they calling me? It was the hair. <laughs> it was the hair. What done? <laughs> yes, that, that's the interesting thing about Doctors Who. They have lots of hair. Yeah. Whereas, uh, you know, the, the, the other um, science fiction programme across the water, um, Star Trek. Trek. They're all got wigs, you know. My theory is allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> um, I've I've seen them at conventions. I know. Anyway, um, and, and my theory the is views that they, expressed in this commentary are not necessarily those. those of the BBC. <laughs> their their uh, spaceship, I think, had a leak in it because you know, you know, let in all because all of them kind of seem to have lost their. Hair. Whereas all the doctors have got lots of hair, so the TARDIS was a much better constructed spaceship than uh, the spaceship Enterprise. Impeccable reasoning, I feel. Just logic. <laughs> I'd, see, I'd seen you in the theatre in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but Liverpool. That's right, yes. Yeah, banging uh, nails up my nose and sticking ferrets down my trousers. Things like yeah, that. So little has changed, really. I know, very little. Yeah, did they do something to your feet there, or they, are they that colour? Uh, oh, don't be nasty now. <laughs> no, they, look, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Yes. They got worse. Exactly the same. <laughs> Yes, You've still got that tag on your big toe as well. Later on, there's the whole plot changes just because a lorry load of chickens has been involved in an accident. Oh, really? The foul play was not suspected. <laughs> <laughs> I just read that from a cue card. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to make the funny faces. You're still doing your warm-up there, McLean. Yes. <laughs> it's a lie. Apparently they, had to, they cut out the sound of a neck breaking here. Oh, really? So I'm now going to put it in. <laughs> We'd come down in the lift some nights in that hotel. Yeah. And half the X-Files people would be in the lift. Yeah. Oh, no, that never, was really exciting. They'd never look at you, you know. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> they were terribly famous. Yes. There's a great starring role just coming onto your screen now. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own series now, obviously. Yeah. He just runs out of doors a lot. Do, do the, you have to pay to get into the house? No, no, I think it's a private house. They oh, just they keep people out. At you, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go away. Oh, yes. those Doctor Who people again. Yes. Oh, no. Marjorie, there's more of them, look. They didn't say this would happen. <laughs> the amount of... Oh, oh the, kiss. the kiss. The famous, infamous kiss. That was a bit dribbly. It's a bit it? dribbly. It's good they left the dribble in, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe that was the contentious bit. Oh, there's another one. There's, there are two kisses. There's, there's one at the end as well. I don't want to spoil it for oh, you. These things come in threes. <laughs> that was a hell of a long kiss. A special Time Lord one, I think. For you, maybe, Nicholas. <laughs> Did you, had you not seen Doctor Who before? I'd seen Doctor Who before, but I'd, I'd assumed they all had kids. Did you? <laughs> I did, I just, well, I did. I tried this recently at a department store and got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they got you, because they looked at me and said, no chance, we'll get Paul McGann, we might get the girls to watch. Um, the idea was to, that then they'd bring back the other doctors. So oh, there'd yeah, be, yeah, we'd yeah. be, yeah. and so that I thought that would be brilliant. Just That'd be great. you would have all the responsibility, have to move out there and run it. <laughs> and we could just pop out every now and again yeah. and have fun. Cooey. Wee we're back and all that. And so, <laughs> so, so I was very disappointed when it yeah. didn't go to series. <laughs> Lovely character though. Yeah. Which the one on the left? Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> who is that boy? <laughs> I mean, there's all sorts of things in old Doctor Who and. Yours, Sylvester. Why do you look at me when you say, say oh. oh? Oh, Doctor Who, sitting here. Oh, yes, slowly <laughs> disintegrating. I want to know how he got up and down the stairs on the, on the motorbike. Just like a Dalek would. Yeah. Oh, I was hated much... that wig. 
<laughs> I hated it. You shouldn't have cut your hair then, should you? <laughs> what was it made you cut your hair? I played a soldier boy oh, a few yeah. months before. Fair Give me a break. I just thought you were being willfully uncooperative. He said, I love your hair. Good. I've got it. Also with you, Sylvester, because, you know, you don't have the, the standard Southern English accent. Uh, is that right? <laughs> oh, God, I didn't know Listen, that. Listen, guys, never mind. Look, just help me out here. I was just making a point. Are these stairs going to light up as he... <laughs> they should do, shouldn't they? Shouldn't they? Well, there is something about Doctor Who that has a quasi-religious thing about it. I often thought how you could start a religion, you know, because there's money in it. The views expressed in the DVD commentary are not necessarily those of anyone else sitting next to Sylvester. <laughs> this was what we call shouty crackers, isn't it, McCoy? <laughs> yes. Lots of shouty crackers. Yeah. There's always a shouty cracker sequence. <laughs> no! No! Oh! Hey! <laughs> Another kiss. That's not a kiss, that's a rebore. Well, maybe they'll come back for us one day, McCoy, and knock on our doors we'll and, uh, you know... When, you... when we're in our dotage? Yes. And can't remember our lines. Oh, well, I was in my dotage and couldn't remember our lines when I was doing it. But... <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the Doctor saves everyone by turning back time, which I found interesting because... Don't tell me the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> the computers are all going to die and everything. In real life, that So, I mean, you apparently... actually... Paul, Doctor Who actually quietly fixed all that. That's clearly Because remember, every, the whole world was <laughs> expecting it to stop. Yeah. And it didn't. Thank you, Paul, for doing that. I didn't realise that until now. Shucks, it was nothing. <laughs> who was that masked man? <laughs> we forgot to thank no, Who was the man in the wig? Yeah. And, uh, these two Did I hold it the right end? I've no idea. No, you have to why am I asking it. you? You don't know. I know I got it wrong. <laughs> <sighs> Happy yeah. days, McCoy. Yes, they were. They were terrific. In Irish town. In Irish town. Which well, you were playing the spoons on that big, tough guy. Yeah, a big, tough guy came up and kind of tried to terrorise him, and I just played the spoons over him, and uh, he melted. <laughs> Works every time. He melted. Every time. I didn't have to take a gun out. Just play the spoons. <laughs> How to win a war. Give everyone spoons. Let's get back in the TARDIS. Come on.